protection of your kids? Well, I think just the 24 to 48 hours is definitely, it's like, we think we're in, but we don't know if we're in. And just, just knowing now that we get to continue to play baseball, I'm just excited. I'm excited for the guys. Um, I'm just excited to get to watch them compete again. Talk about just your first matchup, Yale. Just thoughts about that. Uh, I don't have much to tell you right now. I, we're going to have to go do some digging and, and find out about them. Uh, but I can guarantee you they got a big arm on the, on the first day, and we're going to have our hands full. So uh, we'll start the preparations for that. Um, you know, as far as uh, going to Oregon State, nothing we haven't already seen already. So that's why we play the kind of schedule we do early on, and uh, it's going to be a great challenge and a great opportunity. Yeah, just talk about playing the number one team of the nation, Oregon State, or possibly just going to their, uh, their region. Well, we got to first take care of uh, a different team in Yale first, but uh, I don't care where we go, man. We're in. We got our foot in the door. That means we have a chance, and, and uh, I'm excited to go see our guys compete. And uh, yeah, it's just it's exciting to be in the in the postseason again. Got teams from really different places in this regional. What's the difference that you notice playing teams from the Big Ten versus playing your non-con schedule? Well, it's just different. I mean, you get you know you get Southern type of baseball in the SEC where it's more professional style. Big Ten, uh, I think it's safe to say it's pretty much banging the ball around with some pretty good arms. Uh, West Coast, you get a lot more uh, situational hitting, uh, a lot more kind of trickery on the base pass. Uh, so it's it, you know we try and expose our guys to all different types of baseball, uh, you know, and then Oregon State plays all those. But uh, so you know, but as far as what Yale has, I'm gonna I'll have more for you when we we meet before we leave and, and after we dig into those guys. Did you feel pretty safe heading into today, Darren? I mean, deep down, yeah, I'd like to think so, but. Uh, of all my things that I deal with as a head coach, this is probably the most stressful time, the, that 20 to 40, 48 hour window where you just don't know the certainty of where you're going or if you're in or not in. Uh, but I felt pretty confident that our guys had done enough to uh, position themselves for an opportunity at the postseason. And it was nice to see it get done right out of the gate in, in the announcement. So uh, again, I'm just excited for the boys to have another opportunity to play. Five Big Ten teams uh, are in the tournament. Just your thoughts on the conference. I'm, I, I'm not surprised. It's just, uh, man, has the conference really improved since we've been here. And, you know, two years ago, five teams go. Last year, three teams go. And now five again. That's what we were looking for, that sustainability. You know, they've had years where they've been, uh, you know, really solid and then maybe fade for a few years. But the ability to, to consistently get that many teams in, just it's exciting for the future of this, this conference. And, again, like I said, I mean, I think there was a possible regional team that didn't even play in the conference tournament in Michigan State. So just really exciting the direction this conference is going. Those two games you guys played against Oregon State early on, did that help define, or, you know, did you guys learn anything about your team uh, from that series early on? Well, did we, you know, just that we were – quite ready yet coming out of a snowbank and, and just handling the speed of the game against the quality opponent. So, you know, a lot of learning lessons there and, and you know, just we did it the next weekend as well down in Frisco. So it's just, uh, you know, again, yeah, that's why we do that stuff. Uh, but again, that, to talk about uh, games against them, we have, we're not playing them. We got a game before that. So we will focus on that and entirely on the first pitch of our first game. Yeah, it's one of the best years in, in college baseball history, to my knowledge. I mean, I'm not, I can't say I know a ton of history about college baseball, but it, that sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, and they're, they're a solid program, and, and it's not like this is some, uh, you know, oh, well, good year. You know, they've, they've won a couple national titles, and this that coaching staff has done just a phenomenal job. And, um, you know, it's just, uh, again, it's going to be an awesome atmosphere. The crowds are going to be fantastic. Just cannot wait to let our guys get to have that experience and, and fight through all the fun stuff that's ahead of them. You get one more week with the seniors. How much does that mean to you personally? I, that, and that's a big, big thing. You know, this this group is, is they've, they've left a lasting impression on our coaching staff of everything, not just they've done on the field, but the way they've handled their business off the field. And, and you just, it just wouldn't have felt right for that to be the last game they got to play at 1.30 in the morning, you know, like they did against Maryland. So I'm excited for them to have another opportunity to go out and, and compete. And like I said, we got our foot in the door, and, and now it's about getting hot at the right time and, and going out there and just playing our game. Darren, you've had a number of guys that have you know, played NCAA tournament ball on this team. I mean, how, how much does that kind of help you going into this weekend and, and kind of everything that it brings? I, I, think, it's, I think it's a big deal. I think that they, they, they know the routine because it's a little different schedule, you know, and just kind of everything that goes with it, the travel and, you know, different different stadiums you go into and just, 
different people are, are running the event and it just you know the, as far as the NCA goes and that's not a bad thing it's just it's different so when you've been through that and get to experience the time frame of practices and just all the stuff that comes with it I, I think it's huge to have that experience so absolutely that that plays into uh, guys having the ability to to have been there already and, and you know just been there so it, it definitely helps give an update on Jake Myers will he be available this upcoming week I I I would anticipate he is, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see where it's at uh, through this week, and, uh, yeah, we'll see. Can you describe those last 48 hours, you know, from that 1.30 in the morning finish when you guys weren't necessarily thrilled with how that turned out to, to today? What's that been like? Kind of like our season. A lot of good, a lot of bad, and fight through stuff, and, you know, just the long bus ride back from Bloomington, a lot of time to reflect, and I guess just at the end of the day, you just break it down to where I'm, I'm not done watching this team play. So I'm just glad that they get another opportunity to go out there and, and uh, compete as a group. And, and uh, you know, it's uh, they've met a lot of challenges this year and fought through a lot of things. So it's uh, this is their reward, and now it's time to go have some fun. You mentioned Friday we wanted this that loss to sting a little bit. Do you think the players have taken the right message from that loss? I again, I that's I'm over that. We're moved on. I don't live in the past. We're looking forward. We. We've got things we need to focus on now. I mean, those are stuff that, you know, you shoulda, coulda, woulda, whatever it was. It doesn't matter. We've learned from that, and now we move on. We're, we're a forward-thinking unit, and we're ready for our next challenge. So it's uh, we're just excited to figure out how we're going to get there first, and then, you know, we'll see what happens after that. Did you learn anything more about Ethan's arm? No. We were supposed to get some tests done today, but with the holiday, we'll find out a lot more tomorrow. Hey, Dan, yeah, this is the third time over the past four years you guys have made regionals. Do you feel like this kind of validates some of the sustainability and the progress you've been able to accomplish here with this program? You're getting pretty deep, and uh, I'm not big on validating stuff. I'm, that's uh, that's not kind of what I I think about or talk about. But uh, you know, I think just I, I just I'm glad that those guys. You know, every group's different. I always talk about they each team's going to go through different things. I feel like they have had a lot of. Uh, obstacles in their way that they've overcome and fought through and and for them to get to this point to win a conference championship to now have the opportunity to go play in regionals I just I'm just really proud of how they've handled a lot of things um, and some things we're not going to talk about that happened and, and just there's things that happen and they have to deal with and they've done a great job with that and and it's a credit to, to them and, and now like I said we get to play bonus baseball so see what happens. Guys, talk about since you, got left, guys, since you guys are going to talk about kind of getting your foot in the door is the first step and winning a regional, hosting a regional. Sure. I guess what's what's the, I mean, how do you take the next step? Uh, win a regional? That'd be yeah. I mean, there's again, there's no participation awards. We're not looking for a, a one and two or an zero oh and two and a pat on the back and say, hey, nice job, oh, a tough regional. No, that, that's not how this works. You know, we're going into this thing with the idea of winning that regional. I don't care who we're playing. So it's what we do, and you know, is it a tough challenge? Sure, no doubt about it. But if we're, we might not even go if we're not going there to win. I mean, that's what this group thinks. That's how they think, and that's how we're going to continue to think. Thanks,